Hi there, I'm Kirti from Kirti Institute. Welcome back to this channel. I would really like to thank you all for motivating me to create this video on OET Reading Part C by giving great comments on OET Reading Part A and B. In this video, I would like to explain you about the OET Reading Test Format and we'll gradually move to Reading Part C method lesson. So stay tuned with me till the end. OET reading has three parts, part A, B, and C. For part A, you will be allocated 15 minutes, whereas for part B and C together, you will be given 45 minutes. Reading part A has four short texts related on healthcare topics or healthcare uh, subjects, and you will be given three types of questions that is matching the texts, short answer questions, and gap filling. Reading part B will have the workplace communication. You will be given six questions with three answer options. Reading part C are further divided into two extracts. In each extract, you will have the communication based on the journals or the websites on a general medical topics. There will be eight plus eight total 16 questions with four answer options. The type of texts can be on a research abstract and mainly you are reading to identify the writer's point of views and the opinions. There can be four types of questions. First is identifying the specific information from the given text. Mainly you will be looking for identifying the writer's suggestions, opinions, attitudes, point of views. This kind of questions you will see more rather than identifying the factual data or factual information from the text. Two other uh, questions will be on lexical questions like uh, identify the meaning of the vocabulary or the phrase or the features of cohesion. Let's see each type of question in detail. Here is the first question, what problem with one of the studies is mentioned in paragraph five? So I'm going to read this paragraph four, sorry, four, uh, to identify the problem from the given information, right? This is a lexical question. What is these in paragraph five referring to? So according to the reference of the paragraph, what is the meaning of this? Not a particular meaning of this. Based on the reference, based on the given information in the paragraph, what can be the meaning of this? Okay. The next question is, research mentioned in paragraph 5 suggests that. So this is a kind of suggestion. Okay. So that is a writer's suggestion, writer's point of view, writer's attitude, as I said. So this kind of questions, we will need to uh, read the paragraph to identify the writer's ideas, writer's view, writer's main aim to create the paragraph, okay, to create the information. Number seven, the word uniform in paragraph seven suggests that e-cigarettes should. So according to paragraph seven, what is the meaning of word uniform? So this is also asking about the vocab. Instead of vocab, you may come across the phrases, okay? And those phrases will be completely new for you, okay? You may not have read or, or heard somewhere. So uh, while reading the newspaper, you may come across the situations where uh, you might not be aware of the literal meaning or dictionary meaning of the text so or the word so what we do we just keep those words and we just read the other information given in in the paragraph and we try to identify the message of the writer and the same technique you will need to apply for the uh, to identify the meaning of the phrase or the vocabulary let us start with the first question to help you to understand how to search the answer this is like I'm going to explain you four types of questions and the answers, but make sure we are not going to learn this test. You have to identify the skills that you need to develop to read and uh, to understand in detail because the same test is never going to be repeated. Okay, so the question number four, what problem with one of the studies is mentioned in paragraph four? So if you will look at paragraph four, Okay, here among smokers not intending to quit e-cigarettes, 
both with and without nicotine substantially reduced consumption in a randomized controlled trial, not only resulting in decreased cigarette consumption, but also in enduring tobacco abstinence. So here the writer says about the decrease in cigarette consumption and tobacco abstinence, which is really great. This is not a problem. In a second study from 2013, the authors reported that after 24 months, 12.5% of smokers remained abstinent, while another 27.5% reduced their tobacco cigarette consumption by 50%. So here also the writer speaks about the abstinence and the, the reduction in the uh, tobacco cigarette consumption. So this is also not a problem. This both of the studies shows the positives of e-cigarettes, right? Let us see the third problem. Okay, the third study, we may find the problem here. Finally, a third study commissioned in Australia has come to the same conclusion. That means they also might have found the same conclusion, the positive effects of uh, e-cigarettes. Though, now though is a connector that shows contrast information. So as soon as you read the word though, it should get highlighted in your mind that now my answer must be connected. Okay, so though a high dropout rate of 42% makes this findings questionable. So what is the problem with the study is high dropout rate. Okay, a high dropout rate is our answer. Now, based on this answer, you need to identify that what will be the correct option for this question. And let us see the answer options. Number one, A says the research questions the study asked. Whether the research questions the study not at all. The number of participants who left the study, our answer was dropout rate, a high dropout rate. So here who left the study is uh, like a similar language or paraphrasing of high dropout rate. So yes, this could be our answer. The number of participants who left the study can be our answer, but we should not give the answer as, as long as we complete read uh, option C and D. The similarity of the conclusion to other studies. But the similarity between two studies is a problem? No. The study used e-cigarettes without nicotine. We didn't find this information, so definitely D is also not the option. So always make sure that if B is the right answer, then why A, C, and D are wrong? Okay, sometimes you may also give the answers of multiple choice questions by eliminating the wrong answers first. Okay, so you read you uh, what whichever answer you feel is not correct, definitely you have to eliminate those options and then come closer to the, uh, the right answer, okay? Question number five, what is these in paragraph five referring to? See this reference, paragraph five. These we have to identify first and this will be always highlighted even in the real test. So you can see the, uh, the word these here. So these is a pronoun basically, right? You will be asked to answer this kind of pronouns like these or those or this or that or it. So this kind of pronouns, nouns are like naming words, always comes after nouns, right? After nouns, like he, she, it, we use general, right? So if I say that she is a brilliant girl, before that I have to represent what is she, right? So that will be the name of uh, the person, okay? So here also you need to identify the nouns from the previous sentence, your answer will always be into the previous sentences so do not try to search the answer on the same sentence or the sentences below the given uh, uh, pronoun these okay the phrase so let us read the previous uh, uh, previous sentence research from a laboratory study released in 2013 found that that while e-cigarettes do contain contaminants the levels range from 9 to 450 times lower than in tobacco cigarette consumption uh, sorry tobacco cigarette smoke right so now thesc these is a plural noun right so what i will do i will select all the plural nouns from the previous sentence so let me try to do that okay so this is results okay plural from a laboratory study released in 2013 found that that while well, e-cigarettes another one contaminants third possibility levels fourth possibility range from 9 to 450 times lower than in tobacco cigarette smoke okay so my possible answers are results 
okay uh, then e cigarettes contaminants and levels and times okay so now i will check that which answer options are available from my selected options like results okay contaminants levels e cigarettes and times so out of these which answer options are available so here you can see the answer options are laboratory study results so result was possible answer so this could be possible correct answer nicotine inhalers we didn't find this in the previous sentence so we'll straight away remove this b c says contamination levels so we also found contaminants and levels so definitely c could be the answer and tobacco cigarettes whereas we read about the e-cigarettes not tobacco cigarettes so we will remove b and d and our possible answers are a and c laboratory study results or contamination levels now what i will do i will try to fit both the answers in the given paragraph based on the uh, given information which suits best okay whether uh, results or contaminants that we need to identify so uh, let us see here these are comparable with the trace amount of toxic or carcinogenic substances found in medicinal nicotine inhalers so based on this uh, sentence, this says that they are talking about the uh, comparison between the trace amount of toxic and carcinogenic substances. Okay, so based on this all given information, whether laboratory study results are more closure to compare with toxic or carcinogenic substances or contamination levels are appropriate answer to compare with toxic or carcinogenic substances. What do you think? Write in the comment box. Okay, so yes, okay, the possible answer could be A, B, C or D, whether it will be contamination levels or laboratory study results. Definitely, it will be contamination levels. Okay, so what we did to identify this answer is we read the previous sentence. We tried to identify the plural nouns because T H E S E these is a plural noun. So if we try to identify the nouns underlined. We check with the available answer options, and we eliminated the wrong options, and we tried to come closer to the right answer. However, sometimes it happens that all the possibilities, all four possibilities are given in the answer options. In that case, you have to think that THSEDs represents what information? It talks about what basically? Okay, so the, these are comparable with the trace amount of toxic or carcinogenic substances. So in the previous sentence, what they are talking about? Whether they are talking about the results Okay, the study released in 2013 found that that so they says that results identified something and they are talking on what they are identified. Okay, so our more closure answer is contamination levels. Okay, so all four options are when given into uh, the answer options, you need to think that the sentence talks about which main topic, okay, which main noun and then you try to move on. I hope this strategy will help for you and will help you to get two correct answers in reading, right? All right, let us see the next question type is about writer's opinion or suggestion. Research mentioned in paragraph five suggests that. Let's see what the paragraph five suggests. The research in paragraph five suggests what? Okay, this is full and okay. So this is the same paragraph. So let us try to continue reading the same paragraph to identify the answer. A prominent anti-tobacco advocate, Stanton Glantz, has warned of the need to protect people from secondhand emissions. So the, the information itself starts with warning, okay? Uh, this uh, advocate warns people about the uh, uh, about the protection from the secondhand emissions. While one laboratory study indicates that passive whipping, that is passive smoking, okay, as smoking, an e-cigarette is commonly known, releases volatile organic compounds and, excuse me, please. Okay, okay, I'm back. <clears throat> 
Okay, let's go back. A prominent anti-tobacco advocate, Stanton Glantz, has warned of the need to protect people from secondhand emissions, while one laboratory study indicates that passive vaping as smoking an e-cigarette is commonly known to release volatile organic compounds and ultrafine particles into the indoor environment. It noted that the actual health impact is unknown. It noted that actual health impact is unknown and should remain a chief concern. So although the, uh, the indoor environment gets affected, its effects are still unknown, but it should still remain as a chief concern. A 2014 study concluded that e-cigarettes are a source of secondhand exposure to nicotine, but not to toxins. Okay, it is the, the another study done in 2014 said that the secondhand <coughs> exposure to nicotine, but not to toxins. Nevertheless, bystanders are exposed to 10 times less nicotine exposure from e-cigarettes compared to tobacco cigarettes. So ultimately, this study supports the use of e-cigarettes over tobacco consumption, okay, tobacco cigarette consumption. So here this says, it, it, it affects 10 times less than tobacco cigarettes. Okay, so let us see the available answer options. And uh, I'm really sorry for <clears throat> whatever time I'm taking. <clears throat> okay, uh, option A says e-cigarettes release dangerous toxins into the air. Okay, so they this is the contrast information. Okay, or I can say that this is actually not given. Okay, e-cigarettes release dangerous toxins, toxins into the air is not given. They said that the indoor environment gets affected by the tobacco cigarettes, not by the e-cigarettes. So this is not the option. E-cigarettes should be banned from the indoor environments. The indoor environments get affected, but it should be banned is not given. E-cigarettes are more toxic than nicotine replacement therapies. So there is no comparison between the e-cigarettes and nicotine replacement therapies. So this is also not the answer option. And uh, they also said that the nicotine or the tobacco consumption is toxic uh, compared to e-cigarettes. So C is also not the answer option. Cigarettes present a far greater risk of secondhand exposure to toxins. Okay, so now these cigarettes uh, talking about the tobacco cigarettes. So cigarettes present a far greater risk of secondhand exposure to toxins, right? So we found a lot of information that against tobacco cigarettes, also they have said that far greater risk of secondhand exposure to toxins. So the writer warns about the secondhand exposure. So definitely B is our correct answer. <clears throat> The last question, the word uniform in paragraph seven suggests that e-cigarette should. <clears throat> now, as I say, we do not want the dictionary meaning of uniform. Okay, uh, based on our knowledge, uniform can be the, uh, it is talking, it might be talking about the dress code or it might be talking about the similarity. But you may come across the information which will be completely new for you. The phrases will be completely new for you. Okay, you might not have heard somewhere about uh, that particular phrase. So the method is that when, when you read the newspaper, it is uh, not possible that uh, you might be aware of every single word okay there might be some new vocabularies you might not be familiar with those vocabularies so what we do we generally skip those words and we try to find, identify the main idea the main message of the writer the same technique you will need to apply here okay if you don't know the word or meaning of the phrase or vocabulary you just have to skip that and understand the rest of the information and based on your understanding try to uh, match the right answer option let us see there are a number of interesting points of agreement among proponents and skeptics of e-cigarettes first all agree that regulation to ensure the quality of e-cigarettes should be uniform so first all agree okay so, uh, initially they said that there are some interesting points uh, amongst those who supports e-cigarettes and who opposes e-cigarettes then this is first all agree that regulation to ensure the 
quality of e-cigarette should be uniform. So regulation to ensure the quality of e-cigarette should be uniform. So based on this information, I feel the, the, uh, the meaning of uniform should be same. Okay, the quality of e-cigarette should be same. <coughs> Sorry, let us read the further. Laboratory analysis have found sometimes wide variation across brands in level of carcinogens, the presence of contaminants, and the quality of nicotine. So why variations are seen is just because of uh, the different brands, different companies, okay, level of carcinogens, the presence of contaminants, and the quality of nicotine. Okay, so because of these reasons, the quality of e-cigarettes varies, whereas it should be uniform based on this uh, given information. Let us read <coughs> the answer options. Okay, now based on this information, uh, option A says be clearly regulated against. Okay, so the information says that regulation to ensure quality of e-cigarette should be uniform. So whether this uniform can be replaced with the regulation? No, this is the regulation should be uniform, not working on the regulation. So this is not the correct answer option. B says only come in one brand. So we saw different brands, okay, uh, because of which we can see the, the variations in the quality of e-cigarettes. So uh, uh, this information is wrong. B of a standard quality. This can be the appropriate answer option. Okay, the quality of e-cigarette should be standard, right? Yes, this, this matches with the given information. And D says contain no contaminants. So they also included the, the, the amount of contaminants. So this is also not the correct answer option. So the remaining one is C, B of a standard quality. And based on the given information, the paraphrasing of uniform here is taken as a standard. Okay, so this matches with the answer option. All right, friends, so I hope you understood uh, how to solve part C. Okay, what type of uh, texts will be there? Okay, there can be research abstracts or the information from the medical journals or uh, the on the general topics. Okay, and there also might be uh, the questions. Most of the questions are based on identifying the writer's opinions, perspectives, writer's point of views. And as we have gone through four types of questions, I hope you will be easily able to identify the type of question and how to find the answers. I hope this video is useful to you. If it is so, please uh, write your opinions uh, uh, in the comment box uh, below. And also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for now. Bye-bye.